Hello, James here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Audi data plug, set it up and then all of the features. I hope you like this video, find it useful, hit that subscribe and like button down below. So the Audi data plug is a small device that plugs into your OBD port in your car. Pretty much what it does, it connects your car to your smartphone so you can control different features in the car. You can check on the servicing when it's next due when an oil change is due. You can also input even things like tyres, for example, and when they were fitted, and um, what brand they are. Um, that then uses the car's telemetry information to tell you when you actually need to change your tyres. One of my personal favourite features of the Audi data plug is that you can book in your car for a service directly to your chosen dealership. This means that you don't need to faff about with phoning them or anything. You just simply go onto the app book in what you need for and you can choose the nearest dealership and the best date to suit you. I'll show you how to do that in a second though. If you're like myself and a little bit younger and um, you're wondering, I don't really need this, there is also a points system in here and rewards. So in the app it rates your driving on efficiency, there's different challenges in there, different locations to visit, loads of points you can rack up and points mean prizes. So this is the box that the device comes in and you can see on the side here we've got the Bluetooth pin that we'll need for later. That can also be found on the side of the device. Just a small bit of sellotape tab and open up box and here we have the plug. As you can see it's quite a, um, quite a small device but it does uh, pack quite a punch with the features that it can do. So to install the device you need to get into the driver's footwell, you can see this small pink pin. You just pop in the device in there, it should flash a green light as you just saw. If it doesn't flash green light it's not installed correctly. Make sure you also switch on your ignition. So setup is as easy as installation, just head over to your app store or google play store and search for Audi plug and play or data plug and it's the first app that's on there and just hit download. Once the app is downloaded open it up and allow the location services and Bluetooth and hit let's go. Next part is to select your country and then agree and agree again and click yes you've got a data plug. Now this is the pin that you need from earlier you just type in that pin. Again, make sure your ignition is switched on. And click next. Establish connection and click pair. Now this part may take up to two minutes, so we're gonna skip ahead. And there we go, connection successful. You can select next. This is where you choose your local garage. So I'm gonna go for York Audi for myself and add as favourite. And now click login. So if you haven't already got a My Audi account, it'll ask you to create one. If you do, send your email address and password. And there we go, successfully logged in. This is transferring my data from my other plug. And there we go. Click allow to send notifications, click OK, and OK again. And there we go, that is successfully set up. So this is the app, you can see here if we open up the vehicle information it shows us our VIN number, registration plate, fuel level, we can also see more in depth details so like the gearbox, um, what fuel it requires, the battery voltage, this is the tyre section, you can see I've done 18 miles since I actually started using this data plug. If we scroll down it also shows us our local dealership and their contact details. This is our last trip, it shows us how far we've done, our average miles per gallon and our fuel costs. And this is a last 30 day statistics, so you can see how many miles we've done, how much times we've refueled, etc. And that is our last parking space, quite useful if, you, um, if you're used to losing your car or potentially if you get stolen. Now we can select more options see on the home screen, like the last trip active fuel costs etc. If we now scroll down you'll see last refueling and active challenges. In the active challenges this is where it shows us the distance, challenges, skills, so efficiency, driving cities etc. Discovery, different, um, different locations you can visit, times of driving, 
loads of different challenges you can do. On the second page, you've got all loads of different information. So this is where you can add a service appointment. So you can choose the reason that you want to add a service, add your own little notes, and then time and date, and also location of the dealership. Obviously, I'm not actually going to book in a service right now. But if we go back, you've then got breakdown assistant, so you can call customer services, send location to someone. This is also a very useful part. You can see what different lights mean. You can also ping a message to your dealership to tell them that lights come on. It also gives you some quick tips of how to fix those lights and what you should do. Click on the little pin at the bottom shows us your local de your local dealership as well. If we click on the trophy in the top right, that shows us our points so far. Different trophies that we might have achieved from the different driving efficiency challenges. And that is it for the features for my car. There may be a lot more features for your car. So that is it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Um, definitely check out the Audi data plug and all the different features you can do. I was actually surprised um, when this actually comes with all Audi vehicles. So it's, uh, it's a brilliant feature. Not many cars do this. On some of the new models as well, you can also control the car. So you can turn on heating, you can unlock the car. Definitely check out all the features that your car has available. If you did like this video, hit that subscribe and like button down below and I'll see you in the next video.